Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, so last year I was presenting on a stage very similar to this stage, but in Sydney, Australia. I was presenting a project of mine which was tackling the issue of uh, traffic jams and roadblocks in Iraq. Uh, we had all the factors to get the project from the stage of being a project to a startup and to success. We were a, team, we were a team of three members, uh, a good structure. We, were, we had feedbacks from our friends, fellows, professors from the community where we come from, and we had uh, support of technologies through Microsoft. What could go wrong? You, know, you have everything in your pocket. Uh, eventually, when we came back from Australia, when we tried to implement the project, uh, it failed. It failed so hard that everyone was so disappointed. Everyone, like literally old friends. Um, so at that point, I realized that there is a huge problem. The problem is that technology and the business that relates to te technology is not that interesting for the businessmen and investors in the region. Instead of waiting for someone else to solve the problem, I decided myself to be the guy who would solve this problem. So my name is Yad. I come from Soleimani, uh, a city that's located in northern Iraq. Um, I'm a student, a software developer, and many other things that's related to technology. Iraq has been a developing country for the last 10 years in that phase of developing. However, technology didn't have that much luck to be a part of this development. And in itself, when there is no investment in technology, it brings up problems. Problems such as lacking the motivation in the young people to work in this field. When you don't have young innovators and people with passion working in a field, even if it is not technology, it is just going to die after a while. And for furthermore, it's, uh, you, you see when there is when there's no people working in a field, the, the field will actually stop growing, and after, after a while, you can see that technology and innovation is not there at all. And to take a further scenery, at like a bird's view for the whole project, after 10 years, when you turn back and look at what happened in that region, you would see that there is no one, literally, who worked in technology and had a contribution in the community. And from the community where I come from, which is the American University of Iraq, we had a lot of people with potential, with passion, dreams, and skills to make this happen. I witnessed examples of students, freshmen who just went out there to make, to make dreams happen, and it did not succeed and all because of not having funds. Funds was, having fun and having money to implement the projects is a huge thing that all the dreams went down for. Uh, so, the people that you see there here on the stage are the students from my university. This is the finalist of the uh, Microsoft Imagine Cup competition. Uh, the, the same group of students, each of them have great ideas ideas that would solve problems in, like in the region. And what happened to them? Again, uh, this is bad to say it, but it actually failed. Why? Because of no fund. So the term no fund, it became like a negative brand. When you are walking up to someone on campus, like, what happened to your project? Like, uh, no fund. So no fund was actually a thing. So to solve this problem, what I did, I started this initiative to alter the idea of no fund to, well, you see, someone is sad about it, um, <laughs> to, to change the idea to no fund, to knowing how to get the fund. So the name of the initiative that I started is no fund. Um, so no fund is a micro crowdfunding platform, or you can say a crowdfunding platform, for the young innovators or the students from the community to actually go forward and do a campaign and video pitch for their projects and get enough fund to sort of make the first step toward their projects. And to, this is going to solve uh, somehow most of the problems. The first problem that I will solve would actually give the motivation back to those students or to those people. Uh, usually they are the young people who are into technology, so I'm gonna say young people. So it will give back the motivation to the young people to go back to the technology field and work more on, on this sort of projects. And again, this will help growing the technology in that field. 
um, I believe so that most of the ideas that were there that year or the year before or the year actually before that could have been an actual great project. I would have solved lives, uh, many other problems that right now exist. And one thing more, which is one of the most important things, is to actually introduce the spirit of entrepreneurship and to have a community of young people who are enthusiastic about technology. Because um, if you look back on Iraq, you have the north, middle, and the south. If someone is trying to solve a problem in one of those regions, uh, they don't get to know what's happening on the other side, or you don't really know if there is someone already trying to solve that problem. So through this portal, it would be a way for them to figure out that, oh, there is someone who is interested, and I'm going to get feedbacks, I'm going to get the commentary, commentary or so on, or if there was experts working on this. Uh, so no fun, uh, since this has been uh, a project of one-man army, myself working on it, uh, it didn't have that much progress. But the platform is, uh, the, the, the website is actually out there, but it's not live, uh, and that's just for the purpose to uh, get the interest from the young fellows that, uh, from where I come from. Uh, but to, to have feedbacks and to have free advice for you know, starting a micro crowdfunding platform, you can stop by and leave the emails and Twitter font. Yes. Um, and I will leave you with this quote. Uh, many times I was on the verge to give up whatever I have been doing. So close to actually just lean back and leave those things go. But being a part of a community where all of them are inspiring, all of them have dreams, all of them are trying their best to make it through. Uh, this is what I would actually like to share for everyone else who would later on would actually be able to see and learn from this. Um, when, when you feel like giving up, remember that why you hold on so f for so long, like in the first place. So if you had the campaign for your project and it didn't go well or it failed, you should go back and work hard on it and just make that project happen because you already have a relation to that project. That means you need to make it happen. Thank you.